If you're interested in FIFA Mobile, I currently have a second channel where we run a FIFA Mobile Road to Glory, link down below. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description, use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to a brand new video and it is that time of the week again to have a look at the team of the week and to criticise it to high heaven. Have I got the right setting on here? That's better. So, let's have a little look at this, shall we? They have included a few players that I thought they might. They have also included a few I mean, come on now, Mares. Uh, so, I think Mares was playing central for Algeria. They've got him as a right wing. Absolutely no surprise that he's there because he scored a bit of a banger. There are, oh, hello. Hakimi is being upgraded as well. So, I was a little bit worried that they weren't going to include a couple of players because... Yesterday and Monday, there were a few games played, uh, Ferran Torres being one of the players who's missed out. He scored a hat-trick for Spain. You know, I mean, it was an insane victory. They, they absolutely battered Germany 6-0, and they have not included those games for whatever reason. That You can't tell me, right, that because a game is played on a Tuesday and Team of the Week comes out on a Wednesday, they don't have time to introduce a card. They could easily have put a Ferran Torres in there, and they haven't done so because he plays on a Tuesday. I don't, like. I just don't. I don't get it. I really don't get it. But that aside, I'm okay. I don't want that Ferran Torres card. What I'm saying is there are plenty of players who play on Tuesdays and what have you that are just not included for whatever reason. So that looks like a really good team of the week in terms of red picks, for example. So Kante in there. Big player. Mane, huge. Insigne will be very good. Mares, I'm actually really looking forward to playing with. Goretzka is now head and shoulders above Emre Chan and the base Goretzka. Vidal is good for those who have his ones to watch. Otherwise, you probably don't care. And of course, that Hakimi, if you've got his ones to watch as well, you'll be happy to see him in there. Actually, a really usable card now with uh, good dribbling, good pace, well-rounded. You can move him back if you do decide to play him as a right mid. You can move him back into the midfield and use him as a secondary CM or move him into a right back or whatever. Apart from, I say apart from those, I mean, that's that's big in itself, right? You've got Mane, Insigne, Mares. that's three. Kante, Goretzka, that's five. So five players from that team of the week that I'm sure you'll be very happy to get in red picks, which I'm really excited for. Uh, Dumfries already has a, another card, I think. Denier has a rule breaker. And Alex Texera, who now has a hero card, has a rule breaker as well. So even though if you do get them as a red pick, it'll be kind of like, well, maybe you won't be too displeased with it, but still. Um, the rest of it looks, I mean, Kufal, um, the West Ham right back, isn't terrible. I mean, it's an 82 rated card. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I do understand that not every single card can be a banger, but Gareth Bale has been... Uh, this is a bit, This is actually a big one they've left out as well, but Gareth Bale they've left out. He's not the big one. Uh, one assist in a 1-0 win. They didn't include a Welsh player in there, which is fine. It's okay, but they could have easily included him. Jeannie Wijnaldum, who I thought was all but guaranteed to be included, has not been. He scored two goals in a 3-1 win. You tell me why he's not been included when Ayu, for example, has been included. Swansea man in there. He's got in. What did he do? He got two goals. But Wijnaldum got two goals. I don't understand why they've not included him. That really doesn't make any sense. Um, Torreira for Uruguay. Uh, one assist and a 3-0 win. Uh, yeah. Christian Eriksen. Christian Eriksen's got two goals and a 2-1 win. He scored right at the end of the game as well. I mean, okay, fair enough. They were two penalties, so you can take it with a pinch of salt. However, he still scored two goals, and they won 2-1. Without Christian Eriksen, Denmark would not have won that game. He's not been included. So whether they have a promo in mind for Friday, because we don't know anything as, as I'm recording this. Maybe we will when we go into the game. But we don't know anything about what's about to happen on Friday. My, my guess is that we're going to get... Um, Icon SBCs and they'll do some sort of promo around that, maybe. Th those are the big players they've missed out on, though. Wijnaldum, Christian Eriksen, maybe Tielemans, but they've put Batshuayi in there instead, so that's fair enough. Because they've not put another Denmark player in there. And they've not put another... Um, what was the other player? 
Dutch player in there, I don't think. No. So they've completely ignored those games, which I, I don't I don't understand. That's my list of players, by the way. I don't understand why they've left that Wijnaldum uh, or Christian Eriksen, if I'm honest. But now we move over to the game, and I, I've seen on Twitter that we have another league SBC. I don't know what the... I think it's the Saudi league. I don't know what the overall reward is. I'm hoping that it's not the same as what they've done it with the first three. Now, this is going to be the first actual league because the first two uh, were Libertadores, Sudamericana, then they gave us the Champions League. None of those are actual leagues. So I'm I'm sort of going to look at this with not high expectation because I don't have much in the way of expectation. But I am hoping that they give you a, a, an actual reward at the end that is a player or a player pick or something. Uh, they've got the German final in here. Complete this road to the final challenge to earn a reward. It's another untradeable pack. It's a rare mixed. Let's have a little look at it just out of pure interest. Right, now I don't think that's worth it personally because silver players are not exactly cheap. You need, you need 10 rare silver cards. Now, okay, if you go to an off league, sure, maybe. Uh, but at the same time, for what you get back for that, I don't think that's really worth doing at all. I probably won't go near that, to be fair. If it was tradable, different story. Untradable, I'm not I'm not liking it. In terms of the league, oh, we have the French league. And it's repeatable, which is kind of to be expected. It's only there for a month, which I don't like at all. So the reward is a small rare gold players pack and a jumbo premium gold players pack. So that isn't a 100k pack, is it? It's not, is it? It's one of those half-baked jobs. So you get half a 50k pack and you get a jumbo premium gold players pack because it's a jumbo rare gold players pack is the 100k pack, right? So no, that's awful. Why I don't understand why they got. What's the? I'm. I, oh, hang on. I need a second here. What is the logic in that? What is the? What's the thought process that's gone into that? Oh, we'll take away the player, the unique player that you can only get by completing this whole twenty-team section, which takes a lot of grinding to get. Because you either go in right to the to this twenty teams, so you either go in and you buy all the players required for all 20 teams or you plan ahead and you go and buy them off the market before they even exist or you grind the game you play through loads of drafts you do your weekend league you do your rivals you do your squad battles and you get the players naturally which is going to take you even longer to be probably let down by the fact that you only have 31 days to actually get those cards and then at the end of it you get a half-baked 100k pack and you get a half-baked 50k pack i don't mind the small rare gold players pack in fairness if it was a 100k pack and a small rare gold players pack i'd still be annoyed there's no player but it's a, a softer blow than half-baked packs the fact that they're also untradeable makes it even more infuriating. I haven't even looked at the actual packs to get back here. So that's tradable. And that's what I'm going to determine how good this uh, this SBC is on, on tradable or not tradable. So the good packs are untradable and the bad packs are tradable. It's such a slap in the face. Do you know what I mean? Prime Mix, I mean, that's not even a good pack and that's still untradable. Small rare gold players pack. Small gold players pack, sorry. Not even a rare. Uh, rare Electrum, which is a decent pack. And, oh, actually, it's not... Thing is, it is a decent pack. It's not a decent pack for PSG. That should have been a 35k pack, in my opinion. And it's untradeable. Untradeable, untradeable, untradeable. Rare gold players pack, which is a 25k. And it's untradeable. I mean, that... Is quite literally that, isn't it? It's like, yeah, you can have this. It's, it's like giving you a nice pizza and then just spitting on it and going, well, it's still a pizza. You kind of have to eat around that, though. You know, that's exactly what it is. It's so, that is so. I mean, that. I, oh, I, 
And they've also given us the... Um, they've given us the Saudi League as well with a small rare gold players pack. So you do have that half-baked 50k pack. That is their, that's their, their, their premium reward here. Here is a half-baked 50k pack for completing the entire league, which is probably going to be more expensive to complete than this is. Because people probably would have prepared for this. So you either sell on your players or you complete the league, right? People wouldn't have prepared for this as much because they know the reward wouldn't have been as good. There's no player at the end of it because I don't have a reason. It's only there for 31 days. I was, I was just about to praise them and then they took it away. So... The first three, you only need four players from that team. You need three from that team and you need five from that team. I was about to say, well, even though the packs aren't great and the fact that the only gold pack in the first three is untradeable, but even that silver players pack is untradeable, which makes no sense. At least you don't need all of the players from those uh, from that team. And then I went on to that one and you do need a full uh, 11 from Al Ali. You need a full 11 so they've gone for select teams needing minimum five, minimum four, minimum six. And they've gone for the majority being, well, not the majority, but they've gone for a large number. Oh, actually, yeah, it is the majority. Exactly 11. So I was about to say, well, at least you don't need all of the players from the, from the clubs. But they've sort of thrown in mixtures here or there. And the packs, as you would imagine, oh my God, what is going on? Look at the sheer number of silver player packs. I mean, I know they've introduced silver objectives and silver game modes this year. That is absolutely outrageous. One, two, three. Three. Three packs containing gold cards in the entire thing for the Saudi League. Last year, they made League SBCs just that little bit less worth it because they reduced the, the pack quality. The year before that, League SBCs was... I was unreal. It was so fun to grind. Didn't I barely played the game in FIFA 19 because I was grinding the menus. But I didn't mind that. I didn't like the gameplay in FIFA 19. The whole cross-meta thing. As soon as they nerfed the, the time finesse shots from outside the area, that was when they removed all the fun. The, the crosses, I found boring, didn't like it. I did it because it was the only way to score, but I didn't like it. So I grinded the menus and it was fun to grind the menus. They have now made it almost impossible to grind the menus because you get untradeable packs back and the reward at the end isn't even a big player. Or even even if they gave an 84 rated card, at least it was a card to grind for at the end. They don't do that anymore. You get a half-baked 50k pack. And this is, all, this is just as bad. I mean, at least you get some gold packs back for this, but wow. Look at that. Look, look at this as well. Just for completing Bordeaux... I get the main reward for the Saudi League. I have to complete the whole of the Saudi League, picking up silver packs all the way, and in my reward for finishing the whole thing, for grinding out the whole thing, for spending what is probably going to be 200,000 coins, probably, I get what I could get if I just completed Bordeaux. There's absolutely no logic gone into this at all. The only thought process EA have got is... We need to make it so that some people are going to do it and plunging coins. But we need to make it so that if some people do do it, they get back absolute trash that doesn't uh, ruin the, the... Not ruin the market, but we need to give them absolute trash that is going to be untradeable. So even if they do get a good player, it doesn't inject coins into the market or whatever. It, it, we need to make it so that they then need to go and open packs with FIFA points to be able to play with that player in the team. So they need to go and buy a card that's going to link in their whatever. Well, I've just packed Human Son in this untradeable pack. I now need to go buy some Premier League players to link him in. That's the thought process they've got. We need to make it so that if they do pack something, it's untradeable. Because the only good packs are untradeable packs. I've ranted a long time about this. But it's so frustrating to see that the only thing... Not the only thing... But one of the things that people really liked about this game was the grinding of the menus. And by this game, I mean FIFA in general, right? So they've lost their way a lot the last few years with gameplay. It's been getting worse and worse. People have been hating on it more than ever. I actually like it this year, to be fair, despite the patches. However, they've now taken away 
a lot of what people liked about it, and that was the ability to grind the menus, the trading aspect of it. It just makes it even harder again now to grind. Look at it. Every single pack is untradeable. Every single reward. And it, they're not even good rewards. I mean, the 50k pack is okay, but that's going to cost you a fortune to complete. I just, I don't get the way the players are. Why, why not include players? I need, I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? I know that. Hang on a minute. Have they not dropped the player? Oh, they, I mean, wow, what a, what a sad day for FIFA. They've not given us the team of the week player that everyone goes for every week just because, you know, even if you're never going to use him, you still, I still like to do it, you know? They've not dropped it. And i tell you why I think they've not dropped it is because the season resets on Friday. And for some reason, EA don't know how to transfer over that one objective because the whole thing is going to wipe and refresh. Apart from the milestone section, which I'm guessing is just like a drop down box for them. All the objectives refresh and start anew. All of the season progress refreshes and starts new as does the the teams. So for whatever reason, EA don't have the ability to make sure that the one... When does this... I mean, that's obviously only there till Friday as well, right? So yeah, EA don't have the ability to put in an, uh, an objective and make sure that it's still there for a week because they're about to reset the season. That is why we don't have a silver player this week because they, they don't know how to do it or they're too lazy to go in and have to manually do it or whatever the reason may be but shocking i'm outraged i know it's a video game i know it's only fifa i know we still have league sbcs and we can still go and complete them if we want i'm aware of that i get it right but at the same time if you live on this game like i do that is a proper slap in the face i spent half the video talking about how decent the team of the week was, and I should have just gone straight to the league SBCs because otherwise, well, because the video is now really long. I apologize for those of you who have had to sit there and listen to me, bitch, quite literally bitch, for what, 15, 17 minutes? I do apologize, but that is, I mean, I, am I going to bother doing any of them? I might do Bordeaux just to get that half of 50k pack but the rest of it can can whistle. I have made investments. If there are people out there crazy enough to complete these, I will be selling my cards because I'm only going to be completing Bordeaux to get that half-decent pack. I'm not going to do anything else, and that's the end of it. Well, League SBCs have been ruined, in my opinion. Uh, that's the end of that, then. We have to try and find something else to do on the menus, I guess. No Team of the Week player to grind for either this week, and... I guess the silver lining is that we have a chance of getting Kante, Goretzka, Mane, Insigne and Mares in our red picks. Although we can look forward to having Pandev and probably Kamara or maybe Ayu. You know, nice high rated 81 rated card. If you have enjoyed today's rant, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.